Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Nights coming back at you with another video. Before you watch it all the way through, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate in a given time. With that said, I'm just going to make a brief video. I know I've been gone for like a few days, but it's been a lot going on. Just been trying to rearrange stuff and, you know, just making my small shift but I want to talk about what's been going on lately and I'm not about to get fully into it, but this video is mainly about the masses and the masses is finding out that the Democrat and Republican is basically one democracy. And what I've been saying People starting to see, well, they've been seeing, but they actually started to feel it now. Because, like I said, it takes for some people to go through certain situations to see what the reality is when it comes down to the two-party system. And that's the reason why I did the compromise of 2021 to let y'all see that it doesn't matter. It's getting, It's already was to that point, but it's really getting to the point where it really don't matter what political party you vote for. You see what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's going to be the, the status quo going to remain the same. But the And it's always been like that. But the problem was you had some people that was above it. You had some people that was beneath it. So even though you vote Democrat, Republic or Republican, you have some people that still benefited no matter what side got in. And on the lower spectrum, you have some people that it doesn't matter what party got in, they still suffer from it. But now everybody is <laughs> here feeling the effects of voting whoever in right now. Because, like I told y'all, both of these parties is under their democracy. You see what I'm saying? So, technically, you have a republic, but the seats is being occupied right now. And this is why this is happening. On uh, And on the original indigenous America behalf, which is black America which is the original Americans, the first Americans, is watching immigration come from every country and reap the benefits without the say-so. It's like we don't have say-so in the matter. It's like, so that lets you know the people in power is to a foreign government because at this point, you can't say nothing about it because at this point, they doing stuff and we don't have no say so in it. Americans should have a say so in it. And what's going on. Including the ones that had descendants in the Republic. Whoever that be. So if we don't have say so in the matter. Sooner or later. You're going to have the whole world over here. And it ain't going to be enough resources to sustain everybody over here. And what's going to end up happening is it's going to collapse on itself. And the people in power are just not looking at it that way. They looking at how can they benefit off of this? How can they get the votes? How can we benefit off of everybody that's coming over here? And I'm not saying that we have no problem in people coming over here just not off the backs of us meaning that we don't benefit off of our own land or we don't benefit off of our own resources and somebody else coming over and getting more than we ever got within a year time and you know the argument always been where you're not working hard enough, y'all lazy and all the see they always gonna use that argument because they assume that it ain't nothing to back that up. And which 
they haven't, you know, debated the right person and receipts because I go in historical records and can back that up very well that prove that the original Americans worked all the way up to the first immigration. And that's when people was, was doing the classified labeling as, oh, they lazy, they don't want to work, so let's get these other people in here for low labor. And that's what it's really all about. It was all about votes and low labor, meaning that you don't have, you can pay somebody less and work them twice as hard. So that's what it really all about. See, you can't do the original Americans that way because the original Americans know their worth, so you had to get them out of the equation by calling them lazy and putting other groups in. Not that I have any problem with other groups prospering, but it always been the agenda behind it. And then when the other groups get here, they put propaganda tools in the place of that and start to use that against them and that's where the division come in that so other groups coming over here automatically got a perception of the original people here and now if you want to bring the race argument in it which i don't do the race argument but for lack of better words they really become more racist than the actual races that claim to be racist. <laughs> if that makes sense, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So this is how it all, not because they have a legitimate reason it's because they're brainwashed. And I already broke that down. The reason why the South is like that, because it's a brainwasher. They did the same thing to the fresh Europeans that came under the South that came over here after the civil war. You see what I'm saying? They was, I, I mean, now people down south, now they had a legitimate reason not to like the northerners because they came down, rape, pillage the ancestors. But we should have that same animosity because the majority of the landowners was the Iroquois Confederacy. You see what I'm saying? So where the disconnect is, the people down south can't differentiate which one fought for the north which one fought for the South? You see what I'm saying? So now they assume that all blacks fought for the North to escape from them. So we just came up North and came back down with sticks and stones and start beating everybody hind part. And now they got this perception of, oh, where well, the blacks are responsible for what happened in the South. So this is where the hate this is where the prejudice, this is where the so-called racism come from during the South because of the propaganda that been put out over the years, which is proven that it was more blacks that were in the Confederate army than the North, not to mention the ones that wasn't a part of the army that they was defending their land and resources, not to mention the one that had their own army, which were the Cherokee Braves and the Choctaw, were, which was derived from the past Gullah Wars and the Seminole Wars. They just emerged and created a whole new flag because it was more tribes that joined the war because of them defending their resources along with our European counterparts that wanted off of the, you know, the European counterpart, basically their own land and resources down there that had the ditch of service. And the majority of the ones, the Europeans and the blacks that were on the plantation, which was like 2% blacks, they was the one that whether they wanted to volunteer to fight for the Confederacy or they just wanted to sit out. <laughs> a lot of them had that choice. It wasn't forced. So it's a lot of stuff that's happening right now to where a lot of people would, if I would explain this like five years ago, I probably would have got a lot of flat. I probably would have got a lot of dislikes from both sides, both sides. No, I couldn't criticize both parties like I'm doing now.
because a lot of people is waking up to the fact because I did it before and a lot of people used to criticize me for that because they was loyal to one side and another, not to mention that both party was under the democracy. And you got some people right now that still actually think that. So I might, I still get a little flat from mostly, I say mostly black, black conservatives, even though I don't have no problem with them, but a lot of them cater to a lot of people. So they got to follow other people rhetoric. So that's my problem with black conservative. But other than that, I don't have no problem with them. But I, I don't I don't do that. I got I got to tell it like it is, e even though a lot of my philosophy line up with conservatism also. But at the same time, it's only so far that I I can go with. <laughs> so I got to call it how I see it. So. And I'm doing this video because I'm starting to see as things get worse in this country to sum it all up a lot of people starting to realize that it doesn't matter what political affiliation they they are involved with they all pretty much getting thrown under the bus and that's why when i did the shift part five i named it the compromise of 2021 so with that said, that's pretty much all I wanted to come at y'all with to let y'all know I'm seeing people reaction and I'm seeing the comments, people stating that, oh, I can't believe I voted for them and I can't believe this. I can't. And they turn their hair out and this coming from Democrats, which is coming from both sides, but really it's coming from Democrats and they starting to realize that they, they, they've been pretty much bamboozled because now they are about to pretty much look like they're being, being replaced because they a lot of people had a problem with Joe Biden signing the bill and they saw billions on the refugees in Afghanistan and a lot of people were salty about that. That's the main reason why I'm doing this video. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video because a lot of people salty about that and a lot of people feel like they're getting the crappy end of the stick. So, yeah, that's what it is. But once I, I'm going to start reporting some of the stuff that's going on. So once I see what's going on today, I'll come back at y'all, give y'all my take on it. But I had to do this because I just sat back a couple of days, took a break, and just... Not so look at the events, but look at the reaction of the people. So with that said, if you made it all the way through, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. All my links this is in the description box. If you like the content, feel free to donate, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.